So guys, Super Mazaku here with some kind of terrifying news. If you are a new YouTuber or... <coughs> Excuse me. Hey. Hold on, hold on y'all. Hey man, every fucking video is Hey, but work my fucking coffin. But um, recently, and I think it's been going on for about five, six days now, uh, Wall Street Journal, I mean, it's like maybe third time ever hearing about it in my life, and they're not really sure what they do, so I can't go into detail about that. But they, uh, they had screenshots of a racist video on YouTube, and they had Coca-Cola ads and all this extra shit on it. So all the big, like, companies, drink companies, not even just Coca-Cola, it's a lot more than people think. They just kind of rid themselves from YouTube all on one to really, you know, avoid any conflict or, you know, their business, you know, being, not, not taken down, but taking a, a dive down in sales. And turns out Wall Street Journal posted screenshots of a video that wasn't even monetized. It wasn't even monetized at all. Has been monetized for a year and then the video didn't really have a lot of views. So it's like, okay, I, I'm not sure if it was private or not, um, if that was confirmed or not. But it's a video that money can't be made on. Somebody wasn't getting paid for that video. And it was just a racist video. I know racism is bad, but it's, there's a lot worse shit they, they could at least try to use, you know. But it's like, they kind of lied. They, they did lie. They said, you know, people are getting money for racist videos. And, and no, that's, that's not the case. So not only did they post those bullshit screenshots, they lied about it as well. And they put a lot of YouTubers in a very sticky situation. Now... At first, I didn't want to believe it, but, you know, after, you know, looking at numbers and then other people making numbers like Joe Cronin, ad revenue, because of these big companies leaving, and I'm telling you, there's a lot of companies that left, ad revenue has dropped by 90%. 90%. You don't believe me? Go ahead and check on your latest uh, analytics, or however well you, you say it, or your money. Look at the videos, look at the views, and look at uh, the revenue you're making from it. Um, he had made, um, I believe, uh, Joe Cronin, he made a WrestleMania, you know, uh, live, you know, review after the show. He usually gets around 100,000 uh, uh, views on there. I believe he got 118,000 on there. He only had gotten 18 bucks from that. And I did a video, uh, the Birds Review, got 10,000 views on that. Now, that would, uh, depending on the month, Either be ten dollars or twenty dollars twenty five, depending on which month that is. It is it's kind of weird how you work that out. And I got paid one dollar for that. It was a video I even put up that I think didn't even reach a thousand views. And that's I didn't get paid for that one at all. So that's when I realized, okay, this Wall Street shit is getting bad. And here's the thing. Um, here's the upside. Even though there's no real upside, they only take away like basically the ads or like it seems like the ads, the money revenue is only taking a dive from the videos made. After they had, you know, taken their big companies away. As far as videos you made beforehand, etc. You know, about that, you know, like, that made a lot of money. Those will continue to make the money that it was originally making. You know, those don't really take a dive. If they did, it's not as big as a 90% dive because I've been looking at that and it's like, okay, these haven't been taking a dive. But my newer videos have. So, as far as YouTubers, you know, business-wise, you got, like, some big uh, extravaganza or some... You know, video, oh, this is going to make a lot of views, give me a lot of money. Don't drop it yet. Do not drop that yet. Just continue to stick to doing what you're doing. If that's all you drop, then, well, my watch Mojo, you know, take a dive. But, you know, if you have videos that you made in the past before this thing occurred, try not to worry too much. You're still getting paid. You're, you're full for those videos because you made them beforehand. It's, it's strange how this is working. Um... But it's bad, and you know a lot of people be concerned. But I'm I'm here to at least offer some kind of comfort. People, listen, YouTube has done worse shit than this. It's like so YouTube been going on for 11 years now. We done seen worse than this, people. This will blow over. This will blow over. Okay, this whole thing will blow over probably in a week or two, or even a couple. It could blow over today, but it will not last long because if they taken away from YouTube. Their stuff would take a dive as well. Because I doubt I'm going to go to a fucking store and buy me a Coca-Cola either. So they will take a dive. But the fact that this public information is out that Wall Street Journal has lied. And what they have been saying is very incorrect. Then the big companies will say, okay, my bad. And they'll come back. So give or take, it will definitely going to happen this month. If, if this is forever, 
then I feel bad for YouTube, you know, as a whole, because it's really, it's really isn't YouTube's fault. YouTube has done a lot of dumb shit, but this isn't their fault. And there's going to be other, you know, networks roaming around when seeing this happen. They're going to grab this Coca-Cola ad rap news and people are going to then go over to those sites. I'm telling you now, I definitely will. I love YouTube. I still make YouTube videos, but majority of my stuff, my main stuff, would definitely go on a different site somewhere. Because, look, I pay bills with this shit. And a lot of people pay bills with that with, uh, their money, too. So they rely on it. And the fact that a simple Wall Street Journal person lied and they posted that bullshit, you're affecting millions of people's livelihood by doing that. So as far as, you know, other, I got a lot of YouTubers who I follow, who actually follow me too when we watch each other's videos. And if you're just starting, you know, oh, by the way, a new rule, uh, you start a new YouTube channel, you can't get any money until you get 10,000 views. This isn't really too bad, especially in this day and age, because 10,000 views is like a dollar, so you, you lose a dollar. But, you know, getting up to 10,000 views, you gain a dollar, I guess. But hopefully this whole thing blows off, you know. You put got the new rules now, because I guess they do the 10,000 view things. They just want to get as much money as possible without giving, you know, you know the new upcomer 10,000 views. But I don't have to worry about that. I got 100 plus million views. But I got people who been hitting me up on my, uh, you know, DM, DM on Instagram and Facebook who want to start a new channel. And they want to get paid right away. Unfortunately, they cannot do that anymore because now YouTube has backed themselves in the corner. Because they got to make their money back as well. So, it's a lot going on. Well, I'll see journal. Suck my fucking dick. I'll drink that nut. Fuck y'all bitch ass niggas. That, that's just wrong. Now, I'm not worried about it. Look, because... What's, what's this month? April? May, June. This would be like June's revenue going in. So, all the money I'm getting from my uh, videos I made before this happened, you know, that's still coming in. So, I'm not really that concerned. But I am definitely pissed off. Because big videos I'm going to drop this... Nope. I ain't going to drop that shit until y'all motherfuckers come back here. Because it's like, no. If not, I would definitely go to v, v, whatever you call it, Vimeo, whatever. Because they got the ads, so. too. And it's a lot of other sites that, um, you know, they got these uh these big Coca-Cola and Sprite and Pepsi ads and all these extra bullshit. YouTube, you got to do something about this quick. I know they're trying their best, but YouTube's going to be affected, too. I mean, they're already billionaires. So whoever the guy who, who freaking owns it. But people are definitely going to branch out to a different site. If this does not get back into control we look we love you well i don't well i love youtube i love youtube some of your policies could be a little better i mean we got this shit going on but i bet you you type in how to put on a condom you got a nigga with his dick out putting a condom on and you got a bitch putting a condom on another nigga dick it's like yo this is youtube and, th and this is here so i make a racist video they go down I'm like what these niggas damn near fucking let me stop but youtubers look don't get too upset. You can get upset. Cause I'm a little upset. Because it's like, damn, this didn't really have to happen. This happened a pretty good month starting in. And I definitely will do my Attack on Titan review. And uh, Boku no Hero Academy review. I couldn't really do it. Rest many weekend. It kind of came in the wrong time. But you you guys definitely get those reviews either today or tomorrow. And I would definitely review the whole, the whole entire thing. So thank you guys for watching this video. Look, keep your heads up. Keep your heads up. This will blow over. We done, look, YouTube, we done been through so much shit, people, YouTubers, with this damn site. Dude, come on, this is just another one, man. This shit will blow over. If it doesn't, well, then, oh, well. I ain't buying no fucking Pepsi Spike. I could suck my dick and fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street and fuck Pepsi Spike for being so damn gullible without looking into it. You think billion dollar companies will look into shit, you know? But, you know, YouTube doesn't even do that. When you strike somebody, they'll take your shit down without even investigating. Is it, you know, strikeable or not? Oh, shit, is it, um, copy? No. no. I got hit with copyright so many times. I'm like, nigga, it's just me talking. Fuck am I copyrighting? Me? But, it'll blow over, guys. Look, I know, yeah, yeah, y'all didn't y'all see this shit. My shit coming in, boy. Watch, that nigga, they gonna have us whole soon. You, I'm looking like a real Philly nigga in a couple of years, a couple of months or so. Shit, but um, I got this uh, anime link behind me. I'm gonna do unboxings for that. Um, I gotta upload these gaming videos. I should have been uploaded my Zaku uh, Gage One tournament. I'm gonna do that either today or tomorrow. It's a lot of things I gotta do, man. I gotta catch for live videos, dog. You know my Zaku is trying to work, but this Wall Street shit is making it hard. But Thank you guys for watching. Love you guys with all of my heart. And for those uh, advertisers who still stay, 
you the real MVP.